Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Woodle Tree Adventures. Uh, this is a 3D collectathon platformer that I don't know a whole lot about besides that a friend recommended it to me, so uh, I checked it out. It cost like one dollar, there was this sale on, it was pretty great. Uh, I haven't played it at all yet, so it might turn out to not be pretty great if the game's not that good, but you know, it was recommended to me, so it's probably good. Let's jump in and have a look. <laughs> Chubby Pixel. Woodle Tree Adventures Deluxe. This game uses an autosave feature. Okay, we got a we got a, a, a wispy woods or great deku tree or something there. The world's very angular. <laughs> It feels a bit like a Minecraft world. It's cute. I like it. Uh, it's snowing over there, but not in the rest of the world. Got some weird biomes going on. There's a little bit of a nice wind effect there. Issue that's wind effect. It looks like a wind effect. <laughs> Music's nice. I don't know if I can skip this, but I don't really want to, so I'm not trying. Okay. Uh, then there's... so is it like a seasons thing? Like this is the autumn world and the winter world is the one where it's snowing? Probably, right? Looks seasonal. Gonna plot my controller there for a moment. There we go. Um... This is kind of a long opening cutscene with not a whole lot happening. Is that my character or am I a different tree? I'm guessing that's like the wise old tree who's going to tell me what to do. Uh... Oh, this is the title screen. I'm supposed to just press start immediately. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I was tricked. Okay, so this is my character. How are you, my little son? Just born from my roots, I gave you life for a purpose. You have to bring water to this thirsty world. Okay. So this little tree here is a son. To do this, you'll have to collect fairies' tears. It's said that picking up as many as you can, you'll even be able to discover a new world. Here, I'll show you one of them. Come and take it. Uh, that's a fairies' tear? Oh, I can move. Uh, okay, so... I can't move very quickly. Like, I'm tilting the stick all the way and I'm working quite slowly. I can jump. This is the house I've built for you. From there, you'll be able to travel across the land. Inside, you will also find two items that will be precious in your quest. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, I got a little backpack or something? With this rucksack, you can collect the berries you'll find to eat them to survive. Upstairs, you'll find the magic leaf that you can use as defense, pressing A, and travel across the land, simply hitting the magical globes in the house. All right. I got the leaf. Oh, it's like a little weapon. Okay, I can hit things with it. Uh, so I have to go to this globe? Oh, I hit the globe with my leaf. I see. Oh, I have a run button. It's the Y button. I kind of wish the game had told me that. Um, because it, it didn't. Okay, so we've got kind of a... Bit of a 3D world vibe going on here. Uh, we've got like a fixed perspective camera. I can zoom it in like this, 
and out like this with the right stick, but I can't move it sideways. Is that an enemy? Probably. Uh, I don't know if these, like, there's a certain number in each level, or... Camera zoom... Okay. Let's go, little tree. Oh, I got a fairy steer. There was one in there. Cool. I would like a little more flexibility in my movement. It's a little limited. Oh, the tear is following me around. I guess it's like a, whatchamacallit. Oh, oh, you die in one hit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't lose my fairies tear though. Oh, that's an enemy? Okay. I don't see any lives or anything, so I guess dying isn't a huge deal, but... Okay, so that was an enemy. I thought they might be a friend, but they were an enemy. Can I jump up there and drop the tree? I can get up here, but there's nothing up here, so no reason to do so. Are you a bad guy? Looks like it. Maybe I'm the bad guy. Since everyone's trying to kill me, like, I might be the villain. I'm not sure what collecting these does. I can't see any counter, so I don't know how many I've actually got. Uh, yeah, doesn't seem to be one on any of the screens. I'm trying all the buttons now. Uh, yeah, camera zoom, I can, I can do that. The shoulder buttons do nothing. Um, minus does nothing. Thought that might bring up like a little stat screen or something, but it doesn't. Ah! Leave me alone. This is a little janky. <laughs> Oops. That's another enemy, so let's just avoid them. Why are you hitting me? Oh, are you a friend? Okay, uh, I mean, I'm hitting you because the game has sort of trained me to hit anything that moves. Okay, that's two. Are you an enemy? No, you're a friend. Okay. I don't know what getting all these berries actually does, but I filled my rucksack with lots of them, I guess. I think the game actually explained what the berries were for in, while I was in the house, but I don't remember what it said. <laughs> up we go! Uh, do I want to go up there or down here? Probably both eventually. Uh, I got three angel tears. Except they're like silver stars? They're following me like silver stars. At least. I don't know if they are like silver stars in any other ways. less of a collectathon than I was anticipating. It's possible the second game is more of a collectathon than the first. You may have seen on my home screen I had a 
Worldly Adventures 2 as well. Uh, I think that's the one that was being recommended. I grabbed this as well because it was only a dollar. Oops. Okay, there are invisible checkpoints, like in Galaxy. Cool. So it's possible this one is more of a linear platformer and the second one is the collect on, but... Uh, we'll, we'll give this one a go, sh a go first. Uh, I'll be looking at the other one in a separate video anyway, so, you know, look forward to that. <laughs> Uh, what have, we, what have we here? Some kind of interesting level design, at least. Okay, let's just stay in here and see where it goes. Okay, we can probably climb on top by getting up here. Yeah. Ah! Oops. Kind of wish the checkpoints were visible so I had some idea of where I'd respawn. So I guess I'll wait for that one to come back. I don't know what the berries do, but I don't want to miss any. Oh! Okay, I put the three uh, angel tears into the cups, I guess. 140? Oh, is that like my total berries collected so far? Hang on, no, there's, there's other there's other things here. Look at this. 850. I guess you get a certain amount of berries and then one of these things will unlock. 200 berries, 400 berries, 500... Uh, I guess berries are how you unlock more worlds? I don't know how many I've actually collected though. 600. Is there anything upstairs yet? Nope. Uh, I guess I gotta go into this one next. Uh, okay. Oops. I'm glad there aren't, like, limited tries on any of this. That would be very annoying. Oh, incidentally, I'm moving with the analog stick right now, but I believe you can just use the D-pad. Uh, I did try earlier. Let me just get somewhere safer. Yeah, the D-pad works as well. And there's a run button, so, you know, it doesn't really matter too much which you use. You do get more directions of movement with the analog stick though, so if that's something that matters then you may wish to use that. It looks like that his level design is pretty uh, angular though, so you probably don't really need to move in too many different directions. Uh, hello. Let's go, little tree. Yeah, I thought so. You have this, the Mario style, like, running across a gap. Uh, one block wide gap lets you just cross. Without having to jump thing. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. Hopefully I won't die this time, but when I realise it works. Yeah, see? You just run right across, no problem. Looks like to finish the level you actually have to get all three fairy tiers, or however many there are. I don't know if it's always three. If it's not always three, that's a bit annoying because then you could theoretically miss one and get stuck. Okay, we got some wind here. Watch out for that. The music's quite nice. 
Mm, the visual style, like, it's very simple, but I think it works. Go away, little, little zombie. Get okay, buried here. Oh. It definitely gives me 3D world vibes in terms of the level design here. Both pop because the camera is like relatively fixed and based on how like blocky everything is. This is kind of how 3D world levels are designed. Um. And like the level structure is quite linear as well, which is similar to that game. Linear with some collectibles hanging out. Uh, okay, these are, these are confusing to work. Uh, go up. Um, hmm. Okay, got that one. I need to get one at the top, though. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Can I just jump up there? No, it's, it's too high. Uh, okay, I got it. There's still one at the bottom though, so... Uh, how do I get down there? Pretty sure there's still one at the bottom. Ah! Hmm. No, I guess I got the one at the bottom. It's not there now, so... Oops. Would like some more checkpoints. <laughs> it's not like it's hard to get back, it's just a bit annoying. I say as I fall. So yeah, this game is looking more like a linear kind of platformer. Uh, I'm guessing the second one is the one that was being recommended to me. I didn't check the conversation again before I started this video, so I don't super remember exactly what was said. <laughs> Is there anything up here? Mm, doesn't look like it. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Uh... Just want to make sure there's not like a barrier hanging on top of one of these geysers. Uh... All right then. The jump control is all right. Like you tap the button a little bit, you get a little jump. You hold it, you get a bigger jump. That kind of thing. Um, it's not too tricky to control what the little tree does. It's fairly intuitive. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of buttons to work with. Um, like compared to a game like uh, Odyssey or Banjo Kazooie, where you have lots and lots of moves, this, this one is quite limited. It at least has more buttons than Balan Wonderworld, though. That one was a bit excessive in its minimalism. <laughs> As you may remember from my video I did with the demo. Uh, oh, it's one of those guys. Hey, nerd. or whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was worried about this. Barry's hanging out up high because of the geysers. Boop. They're a little fiddly to control. Um... So it's be a split path here. I don't know which way is the correct path. Uh, let's try going down here and hopefully this will be like a side path. Uh, 
Yeah, it looks like it was a side path. <laughs> okay. Um, it's also this way, though. Okay, you can zoom out quite far to get a good look around, which is nice. You don't have, like, full camera control, but being able to zoom back and forward so much does help a lot. Oops. Jump with a little block to get up. There we go. Run, 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 run. Oh. Oh no, this one's already had, right? I, I thought they were just like in the water for some reason. But no, they're just following me. Oops. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you just respawn quickly when you fall off, because that keeps happening. Uh, let's zoom out a bit so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. Okay, we got a bit of a Resident Evil camera angle switch here. Okay. Uh, I've never played Resident Evil. I just happen to know its camera does that sometimes. <laughs> I'm not big on the horror games. Uh, you may have noticed from the sorts of things I play on this channel that that's not, not really my jam. Uh, oh, I'm real scared now. Uh, okay. We made it. Uh, okay, I did find all three tiers. Okay, okay, cool. Whew. Okay, so that thing's our berry count, which is at 294, and then these other numbers are the berries you have to, like, the number of berries you have to get to unlock things. That's at 200, so that's open now. What is it? Oh, we can get a different coloured leaf. Look, it's yellow now. Okay, so you can change your leaf colour. That's neat. Uh, 500 to get that level. This is a lot like, um, a toad house in the, the Mario, Mario 3D Land, actually. Uh, I'm guessing they took a lot of inspiration from those games because it feels very similar. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, uh, those two levels were done. We haven't done this one yet. Uh, what do I do? There we go. Can't jump and hit it, you gotta be standing on something. So you have to stand on a little table. Sorry about that. Oh, moving platforms. Here we go. Kicking things up a notch. Oops. Okay, uh, I lost- oh no, I have the tier. Okay, so I, th I thought I'd, like, lost it because I fell down as I was collecting it, but no, I still got it. Real good. Okay. Go away, Jack. <laughs> okay, over here we got a little bit of an obstacle course. Over here we got me falling down again. I don't think I'm very good at this game. <laughs> it's not super punishing, which is nice, so I can sort of get a hang of how to control it properly. bit of a maze, sort of. Not really. Looks cool, though. Hey, nerd. Uh... It's really weird that there isn't a berry count in the levels to give you an idea of how much you've collected. Um, like, there's a berry count when you leave the level and you're in the overworld again, but during the levels you just got no idea. It's weird. Uh... 
feel like I should probably do this, just to make sure there's nothing over here. Yeah. Hey, it looks like little paw prints. Cute. I think it's just like meant to be a deposit of like coal or something, but it looks a little bit like paw prints. And paw prints are cute, so there you go. The uh, enemies of this game are not very engaging. <laughs> um, you pretty much just have to hit A at the right time and, and they're just gone. It's, it's not very difficult. And there's no like uh, power-ups or anything as far as I can tell. So you don't even get more health to deal with them. Uh, oh, I think I was down there? Yeah, okay. It's a bit sneaky. You have to stand on the little, on the little edge piece to have enough height. Okay. Uh, oh, that was a hole? Okay. Well, I got everything, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, jump, jump, jump. I guess say there's no fall damage, but uh, might be just a little careful, just in case. Is the side path or the main path? It might be the main path, let's go this way. Oh, I shoot little twirly whirlies. Is this actually a better leaf than the first one? Like, did I get a real upgrade apart from just a color switch? Yeah, I think I have like a ranged attack now. Neat. Saving. Okay, 414 berries. Uh, I think that unlocks something else. I'm not sure what, though. Let's have a little look around. 850, 200, 800, 400. We get this one. What's this one do? Similar sort of thing. Uh, it's not like a real up... Like, it, it's got a ranged attack, but it doesn't give you new movement abilities or anything, which would be nice. Because uh, the movement is... Ooh. Okay, you can you can die on the on the hub world. <laughs> um, let's see. I can't go in there yet. Change six hundred berries. Um, oh, there's another level over there. Okay, we can go that way. Oop. I wonder if redoing a level gets you more berries. Oh, hey, it's 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 Honey Hive Galaxy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's try to try to skip the bee mushroom by falling off accidentally. Oh jeez, the gaps between the honeycomb are kind of hard to see. I, I thought those parts were touching. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, jump, 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 jump. A lot of falling off happening today, courtesy of me. <laughs> okay. Oh. The momentum is a little bit weird, uh, and it's throwing me off. Okay, uh, I think I'll finish this level and then give my thoughts. Like, this is a fairly simple kind of game, I don't think it needs a full hour. And we're about a half hour now, so I'll just do this one more level. Uh, can I go through here? I can go in, but you can't go through, there's like a wall. I definitely think a berry card would make sense, so I knew how many I'd gotten in each level. Um, I also think it's a bit rude to have like a gap uh, behind this honeycomb so that you fall down. When you're trying to jump into the little little honey holes and get the little little berries out, or the large berries, I guess berries are quite big. I'm not sure what happens if you get to the end of the level and you haven't got all the angel tears you need. I guess you have to go back. Fairy tears, the the little water droplets. Yeah, my ranged attack is definitely better than what I had before. Is that why I'm not an enemy? Huh? I can walk on it. That's surprising. Uh, do I need to go up here? Can I get on that beehive? 
It's kind of weird there's like a tiny beehive below this giant honeycomb I'm dropping around on. <laughs> Given how big the bees are, like they wouldn't even fit in that beehive. Okay, uh, whoops. Okay, there's a checkpoint just here. Kind of wish there's some sort of indication of where checkpoints are, but I mean, it's sort of standard practice for similar games. Galaxy 1 had invisible checkpoints too. And that game was critically acclaimed, so... Oh, uh, apparently if you fall in the wrong place, you get a different checkpoint. Okay. It's kind of weird. Uh, we got a little house here. You can just wander around in. Get a different kind of camera. This is quite cramped. Um, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on with this sort of cramped location and the buildings that are close to the camera. Um, and you can't tilt the camera to get it out of the way. Hmm. I'm guessing this is the main path right now because I need to go get that. So yeah, um, this is a fairly simplistic platformer. I am almost certain at this point that the one I'm supposed to be playing is the sequel, but again, this one only costs like a dollar because of the sale it was on, so I'm not bothered. Uh, I'm gonna, probably going to enjoy it. I'm having fun. It's just probably not the game I was supposed to be playing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I would check the convo, but my internet is actually not up, so I can't look at the discords. Uh, it really ought to have some sort of offline mode, but it doesn't, because Discord's not great, actually. I feel kind of bad, I really liked Discord early in, in the early days, and they haven't really done super well since then. Uh, okay, I think that's probably the main path, because I can see a sparkly over there, but maybe the main path is over there as well. Uh, I think, I think I'm gonna go this way first. Yeah, these honeycombs make it really hard to see, like, where the edges of the platforms are. They sort of blend together because of the way the cameras are arranged. Uh, I can't see anything. I hope I got everything that was down there. That little watery noise when you knock something over, it's weird. Like, you're hitting them with a leaf, right? W why do they make watery noises? Oh, we're supposed to go this way to get that. Okay, I think I got everything then, because it made the gem- the, the um, berry collecting noise as I ran through there. So we're probably covered. Okay, let's go up here. Watch out for that big bee! I like the way the berry collecting noise changes as you collect a bunch of berries. It sounds nice. It's pretty simple, but it's nice sounding. So it looks like the angel tears or whatever, even though those are like the primary collectible according to the plot, they're not nearly as important to these as these berries are to actually doing things. Which is interesting. There we go. Uh, how many do I have now? 537. I assume another level opened up in here so I can go get more berries, because this one's 600. Uh, I've done all of those though. Is there, are there any upstairs? Yeah, there's one upstairs. Okay, um, I think I'm going to wrap up for now, so... Yeah, Woodle 3 Adventures, it's a fairly simplistic platformer that feels a lot like 3D World or 3D Land to me. Um, I think I'm enjoying it, which is interesting because I didn't really like those games, as you may remember. Uh, I was actually level over here too, so I could go that way because I have 500 berries. Um, but yeah, um, this is not the game I was talking about when I started the video where I said it was a collectathon, because this game is not a collectathon. This game is a linear platformer. <laughs> uh, the game that is a collectathon, which we'll be looking at next time, is this one, Little Tree 2 Deluxe. Um, so that's all I've got to say about the first one, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, uh, that's Woodle 3 Adventures, a game which is not the game I was expecting it to be, but it was still fun. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!